Hi, this is Kate from Pagefly. Do you want to showcase your content promotions or testimonials in a dynamic and engaging way like this? Well, fret no more. In this video, we'll be diving deep into the power of the slideshow element in Pagefly. Here you are in the editor now. We need to add the slideshow element to your page. Click the Add Element icon in the Pagefly editor. It is the third item from the top on the left toolbar and find the slideshow. They are blank, single image, image list, hex overlay image background, one and two, and video. In this tutorial, I'll choose this slideshow and drag it into the editor page. As you can see, all forms of slideshows adhere to this structure. Slideshow, element, slide, element, row, column, and slide content. Now let's start with the general tab settings of the whole slideshow. The slideshow has three slides by default. Dragging the dot icon will allow you to rearrange the slides in any order. To make a copy of a slide, just click the copy icon. The trash icon can be used to remove a slide. Should you wish to add an additional slide, click the Add New Item button. Scroll down. The number of slides to display at once is up to you and it depending on the number of slides you have. Items to scroll is the next section. Depending on your items per show configuration, you can select the number of slides that display after pressing the navigation button at this point. Using item spacing, you can change the distance between slides. Display partial items are shown here. Parts of the preceding and following slides can be viewed. Note that when you are in the display with the third slideshow variant, it will automatically apply display partially for items when you switch to mobile view. The pagination and navigation, kind of the slideshow is one of the most popular settings. The slides left or right arrow navigation button comes in five distinct forms. You can click on the pagination to move between slides and select. Note that certain navigation choices are only visible when the cursor is over them. Additionally, the SA Max height parameter can be activated. When enabled, the slideshow height will reach the maximum height of all the slides, including the invisible ones. Activate auto as rewind. After you're done, click to copy and go back to the first slide. Turn on autoplay is to enable or disable slide autoplay in the slideshow. This is limited to the live page. Your slide will automatically play to the end and then rewind to the beginning. If you enable autoplay and auto rewind, slide delay and tails press to duplicate, you can change the slide speed when you enable autoplay. Pause on hover. It means that simply lingering over a slide while the autoplay is enabled, you can choose to pause it. In the styling tab, you have a variety of parameters to customize the slide I will take some quick changes the title and paragraph. Including text alignment, font family, font size, text style, color of the information. and facing. But the backdrop image is one of the most important aspects to draw attention to in this case. To add a new backdrop, click the slide, navigate to the styling tab, scroll down to the background picture, and click the select image button. Additionally, remember to verify responsiveness on mobile devices. This is an essential step to ensure that your website works flawlessly on smartphones and tablets, and that users get the best possible experience across all screen sizes. Switch to Live View to see how the collection images look on your page. When you're done, click Save. And when Save is done, you will see a Publish button. Click on it. As you can see, the images are perfectly integrated and dynamically display your selected collection this is the end of the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our channel to get more videos. Our friendly and knowledgeable team is available via live chat 24 seven to assist you with any issues. Thank you for watching.